Hi, everyone. In this practice problem, we are going to um, uh, practice. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to practice problem BS08, correcting the balance sheet. In this practice problem, I'm giving you a little bit of information about the basic accounting equation for Flyer Core's balance sheet, letting you know that total assets are $118,000, total liabilities are $82,000, and total shareholders' equity is $70,000. Now, of course, if you know A is supposed to equal L plus SE, you can see that this is problematic because in this case, L plus SE adds up to $152,000 which does not match our A. Realizing that there must be an error, the accountant for Flyer Corps obtains the following information. And the goal of this problem is to apply that information to figure out what the true balance of assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity should be. Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can figure it out, and when you're done, come on back and I'll walk you through the solution. All right, welcome back. So I'm going to take each of these pieces of information one at a time, and we're going to talk about the impact that that piece of information is going to have on our assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity. Before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to establish um, a running equation for us, which I'm going to put right here, A equals L plus SE. And I'm going to go ahead and put our starting totals, which, of course, we know are incorrect. So I'm going to put them in red. 118,000, I'm going to put does not equal, because we know there's a problem here, 82,000 plus 70,000. All right, so now I've got that established. That way, as we figure out what the adjustments are, we can kind of tag them onto this and keep a running total. First up, Flyer Corps borrowed $20,000 in cash during the year by signing a note. The transaction was recorded as a debit to notes receivable and a credit to cash. So let's think about what was done, and then let's think about what should have been done. So in this case, borrowed $20,000 by signing a note. So um, it says the transaction was recorded as debit note receivable, $20,000, credit cash, $20,000. Now, if we simply look at this journal entry, what this actually says is that we lost cash and someone owes it to us. So in other words, this journal entry is if we lended someone money, but we didn't lend someone money, we borrowed money. And what that should have looked like was debit cash, 20,000, credit note payable, 20,000. So this is what should have been done. This is what was done. Now let's think about how that in fact it impacts our assets, liability, and equity. If we look about the, the notes receivable, notes receivable debited is asset up. Cash credited is asset down. So this journal entry actually was a complete wash on the asset balance because one asset went up, one asset went down for the same amount, and so this journal entry never changed the balance in our asset account. What should have happened, though, is we should have had asset up because of cash, and we should have had liability up because of the note payable. Therefore, assets should be 20000 higher. Liabilities should also be, yeah, plus 20000 higher. All right, so that should correct our balances for A. Now let's look at B. Flyer Corp purchased a $34,000 vehicle during the year. The reduction in cash was posted to the cash ledger, but the vehicle was not recorded on the company's books. So here we have an example of, of information being left out, okay? Um, they purchased a $34,000 vehicle. So that journal entry should have looked like this. Vehicle debit for $34,000. Cash credit, 34000 That's what should have happened. What did happen was cash still got credited, 34000 but nothing 
ended up getting debited. In other words, there was an adjustment made that somehow left this debit off. All right, that's what did happen. It says the reduction in cash was posted, but the vehicle was never recorded on the books. So how are we going to fix this? Well, again, let's take a look at the difference here. In, in the what did happen scenario, cash and asset went down. In what should have happened, cash and asset went down. So we can ignore the cash. That part is correct. In the what should have happened, vehicle and asset should have gone up. And in the what did happen situation, there was no change at all. So the only thing different between these two is we should have 34,000 more in assets than what we do. Add 34,000. All right, now assuming we did all of that correctly, if we now retally our assets, our liabilities, and our shareholders' equity, we should come out with a different outcome. So we have our 118 plus 20,000 puts us at 138, plus our 34,000 puts us at 168, 172 total. Liabilities, 82 plus 20, put us at 102. And equity, notice, did not change at all. 70,000. We add those together. 102 and 70 do equal 172. We have fixed our balance sheet, and we now know the true balances in A, L, and S, E as a result of this additional information. All right, that one's a tough one because you, you really have to kind of think through the effects. You have to know journal entries well. You have to be able to mimic what the wrong journal entry was, but also know what the correct journal entry should have been. Th these are tough to think through, but um, hopefully this was helpful in, 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 in getting you to think through at that level of detail. Um, and I hope you join me for another video.